Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. Um, and <laughs> Amy Farrah Fowler Griffin's second day on The View and still um, a little bit better cut and pattern dress, but still like micro mini skirts. And I don't, she, yeah, just very short skirts. And she sits on the end of that table I mean, does she think she's Mary Hart? Does she have to have her leg legs exposed? I don't, I don't really get her whole thing. Um, she ain't no Tina Turner, I'll tell you that, who reportedly had her legs um, insured by Lloyds of London for a million dollars at some point during the 80s. Um, and I don't think she insured them. <laughs> I think, you know, promoters or record company did. Um, or... It was all just um, a publicity lie. Anyway, um, Hillary and Chelsea Clinton um, are a cute little duo. It was interesting to see how many times um, Chelsea sort of interrupted and answered for her mother. Um, I I feel like we're, you know, we're getting to the, the stage in that relationship where, um, you know, Chelsea's like, oh, mom, it's okay. I can, I can take this one for you. Um, and, you know, you're not spitting it out quite quickly enough, or um, I've got, you know, everything prepared to answer this um, in more of a, a caretaking role, which I thought was interesting. Um, and yet also little slight jabs at her for not doing the, not picking up the firefighting gear and wearing it. Um, but that's, I mean, I think they're a cute little duo. Um, it was interesting to see uh, in her, um, you know, in, in her usual way, that to answer have to have Hillary answer the question about uh, the documents that were the secret documents that were left at um, or that were taken uh, to Mar-a-Lago by the former president and then retrieved by um, uh, by a search warrant from the DOJ. Um, a measured response, this how serious this is, gives a little history lesson um, and, and a personal anecdote. Um, you know, it's right out of sort of the the the, the, the Clinton speech, um, po political speeches from the from the 90s where, you, you know, you draw it to the per to um, uh, a, a, a personal note or um, bring it back to some sort of um, uh, maybe not your own, but a regular person's anecdote. Anyway, um, it was a it, it it was the right answer, and and talking about how um, much this should concern everyone, no matter what um, party you're in, and you know, again, there's um, Hillary trying to tell America why what's good and what's what's good for America and what's important for America and why things matter, um, which she's had to do so many times over and over again. And if you'll remember in the debates and in the, in the, in the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the campaigns from 2016, a lot of things that she, uh, you know, warned us about were true. Um, and she did it, forcefully but not i think loudly enough um because it was difficult for her to be believed um i think that that era is over i think that um <laughs> i think she feels a lot more free um to voice her opinion i don't think she'll ever run for office again and I, so i don't think she thinks it it you know she's taken as much criticism as she's going to get um or she's going to take and you know, let the rest fall where they may. So, you know, and I think this part of this whole series that they're doing about gutsy women is all is all part of that. So sort of being like, you know, I can be myself for a little bit now, um, even though it's still wildly in the public eye and she will be um, lambasted every time she opens her mouth for the rest of her life because um, they've made her a polarizing figure from the second she stepped on the national stage. Um, but anyway, um, the point of the whole thing is that um, she answers a lot of questions about a man who um, 
who no one expected she would lose to. Um, and by all rights, she didn't in the popular vote. Um, and whatever the Russian shenanigans are that helped um, move that needle, um, she didn't become president. And for her to still have such grace about that and towards him um, is pretty remarkable. Um, not only on a personal level, but on a on a national and patriotic level. I think that there's just a general um, honest and sincere love for the country that comes out of her um, and out of Bill and out of a lot of Democrats that, and say what you want about, um, you know, the corruption or how people become, um, you know, are benefited by their positions of power um, in the in the Democratic Party. I do believe that there is more honest um, patriotism and and more love of country and and defense of democracy that's honest and sincere out of the Democratic Party than exists anywhere in the Republican Party. I think Liz Cheney, um, you know, cares about this country. I don't agree with her politics. Um, but there is there's very very few um, examples left in the Republican Party that um, can hold on to a shred of um, decency and, and honor and say that they actually um, sincerely care about the country more than they care about winning or staying in power or turning power over. I think it's weird, but um, I do get that sense from from her and from a, and definitely more so from Democrats than from Republicans, that there's um, there's a genuine um, uh, feeling that we can we can do better and and that there's a path to doing that. Um, and the other thing that I think is great, and and Whoopi did this has been doing this for weeks and weeks, um, and I don't remember at what point she was talking about what what they were talking about at the time, but Whoopi has said, and I think this is probably the most important thing that she says regularly on that program is telling people that it's up to voters. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter what she says. It doesn't matter what that panel says. It doesn't matter what any news program says. It doesn't matter what any newspaper says. Um, what matters is going to the ballot box or your mail-in ballot, um, voting early or on election day, um, you know, if your state allows it, we need to have federal rules about what, how people can vote, by the way, but the Republicans don't want us to vote. So that's going to be a problem um, again, because they're so patriotic. Anyway, um, the, 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 the thing that Whoopi harps on over and over again is that the most important thing is that it's up to us. We're the ones who get to decide. We go to the polls um, and we make those decisions. And I, I think it's important for everyone to remember that, that it doesn't matter what CNN says. It doesn't matter what Fox News says. It doesn't matter what the New York Times says. It doesn't matter what the New York Post says. Um, what matters is how those votes turn out. Um, and, I, I, and for no one to be discouraged by all of that noise and go and vote um, the way that they think that is best for the country. Um, so I'm still worried about the midterms. I'm still worried that, um, the orange idiot is never going to be indicted, um, because he's clearly guilty of a bunch of stuff. Um, and, you know, the clock is ticking and, and I just don't know that, that anybody in our, um, in our justice system has the wherewithal to actually do the right thing and that's that's highly disappointing um so there's a sad note while it's still we're, we're, what are we on our 48th hour of rain so i'd be more cheerful if i could see the sun